Alright guys, I want to explain something, the reason why I am buying what GBPUSD. Actually, GBPUSD is on a downtrend when it comes to daily, but there is a point here which is, this is what a weekly what resist support i mean this is a weekly resist support at the same time we still get to have um the the monthly should be monthly s2 monthly s1 monthly s1 monthly s2 this is how i got it this is the this is the weekly this is here the, okay we we'll have the weekly s2 which is a low two price couldn't break that and at the monthly monthly level the newly app that we installed monthly level was able to still generate what um weekly support at this same level and weekly monthly support is very very strong so price was not able to break through what uh monthly support and what weekly support both of them are s2 s2 you understand at the same time on four hours time frame using our trend direction the price is on its last this the train is on its last phase We've, we have been hoping to buy since to buy this pair since waiting for our sniper entry to enter but news just had to push everything downward down to this uh um, support level down to this weekly and monthly support level that we are having here now and these two levels they are very strong only weekly alone can hold this market now i'm seeing both weekly and monthly so this one gives me more confidence to buy this trade you understand that is why i'm entering this trade because i'm getting monthly s2 here and at the same time i'm still getting weekly s2 here two strong support level on a higher time frame you understand and i had to put my stop loss in a reversal level from from one of the pair one of the trend there in the reversal level so i'm just risking 70 pips here you understand to see if we can actually retest this zone again because this place is a very strong level very strong level price we look at news push the price down to this place it couldn't even touch it did not touch let me zoom it More a little bit could not touch it you understand and it shoot up a little bit so i'm taking this advantage now to buy this market if we can break if it breaks this place break here hit my stop loss that means we're going to what monthly s3 and weekly s3 Trendy but i doubt if you can do it because four hours time frame is already in its last phase of the berry trend it was already bullish before but news had to push it down again for what the bearish trend you know say so i'm buying this now i'm already in yes i'm on negative but i am already in hoping that this price will not break this level that is why i'm entering you know say if i scale down to smaller time frame we could see some things happening here you understand we can see some rejections here you see now you can see it this one is the what weekly monthly s1 s2 i mean this one is the weekly s2 so both of them are in line you understand the weekly is at the top while the monthly is at the bottom so definitely price is supposed to get to this place anywhere it gets to so long i'm in profit i'll take it but i believe that price cannot break this is a strong fence it's just like you're using one fence and another fence we have the weekly there we have the monthly there so it's a very very strong trend so if you are weak please enter let's smash let's kill this gbp usd that has been delaying our money since because we're supposed to buy since news just had to push everything downwards to this place now we've been able to see that there is what a strong support level here very strong we have it on the monthly we have it on the weekly so that is why i'm buying simple as that. i'm ignoring the sniper entry I mean, knowing the trend direction for four hours because the trend direction of four hours has been on a bullish move ever since. The news had to push it down to the last phase of the bearish move. So, you know, they go anywhere again. You understand? So, I am buying. I am buying right now. I'm already in, not I'm buying. I'm already in. So, I'm just explaining this to you guys the reason why I enter. You understand? This is one of my key strategies I use. I trade key level, pullback and uh, sniper entry you understand but this is what key level this is a short trade for me so that's why i'm entering this trade yes i'm drawing i'm having having a drawdown but no shake so long More price cannot break this come. place i am okay very 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 much okay we're heading to the top you understand so that is my trade for 
this does this is my last trade for this week so i'm not going to stack i'm not going to do anything i'm only going to allow this trade to manifest and let's see how it goes i can even carry it over till next week because this is what a strong support level two support level that i'm seeing here monthly and what the weekly just in line together so that means something miracle loss will happen tomorrow even till next week you understand even till next week because it was news that brought it down to this place and could not break through so let's see how it goes so i just say let me share it with my sniper gangs so that they will know how to use the key level weekly and so many other functions that we're going to be adding to it we just implemented this ai for the uh what's it called the monthly um, key level and it was able to generate this point for us we already have the weekly but it was able to generate this we can verify those that have access verify and mess around with it as time goes on we're going to, going to put the alerts on it so that when price get to it it will alert us but fortunately for this one we didn't receive a lot because price did not even touch it you understand maybe he's afraid of it or something so that is that for now that's the reason why i'm taking this trade so i'm expecting a very strong move up we'll go back to where we are coming from so i just said let me share it with you guys